Hey, how's it going everyone? Your boy Jolzy, aka Comic Filth, and today we're checking out Savage Dragon Ultimate Collection by Eric Larson, Volume 1. Huge fan of Eric Larson's work, uh, especially Savage Dragon. I uh, loved him as a kid on Spider-Man. Um, and it's pretty cool, this is obviously his own creator and character. Uh, yeah, pretty sure he's still releasing issues to this very day. Um, but yeah, this is just... <laughs> this is, uh, funny enough, when I was a kid it was the image book I wasn't the most keen on. I was obviously looking forward to more like, you know, Spawn, obviously, and Youngblood. Um, but when this hit, yeah, it was great. Um, and it's really cool that uh, we're starting to get them in these, like, beautiful uh, oversized collections now. I don't know when Volume 2 is ever coming out, uh, but this one obviously collects uh, his first mini-series, so issues 1 to 5, uh, and then his ongoing series uh, 1 through to 8, and a shitload of bonus material, which uh, I really dig. I'll get the dust jacket off. And with the dust jacket off, it's pretty much more of the same, you know, the front's the same, and you even got the same back, but anyway. So, nice uh, end page there, just the dragon on fire. And kick it off, Ultimate Collection, Savage Dragon. Got an introduction here by Robert Kirkman, uh, one of the image partners now. And it just gets straight into it. I saw the covers like at the end of the book, um, but yeah, basic story of the dragon is he's got amnesia. Um, he ends up getting found by this uh, police uh, detective, uh, and pretty much the dragon becomes a, a police officer for the Chicago PD, um, <laughs> and it just goes from there. Uh, you get flashbacks like Golden Age heroes. He has the Super Patriot, um, who unfortunately doesn't meet the nicest of fates. And you see him come up throughout here. Uh, but yeah, dude, Larson just full tapping into 90s Extreme and his appreciation for Kirby. Uh, he's got great character designs. Like, you know, these things were built for toys. Just, yeah, this nice page. You probably bang out in like about 30 minutes. Nice, easy splash page of debris. And there's our boy Dragon. Has to go home naked. But uh, I just love this. He's just got all these fucking just walking with this pile of dudes. He's just the the epitome of an ultimate badass. You know, he's just dead nailing at the shooting range. And just look at these fucking arms, man. Look at those veins. It's just intense. Love it. It's an awesome face there. Got this dude who's like the alpha, trying to shirt front dragon, and dragon just fucking picks him up with one hand. He's like, yeah, no, I'm the alpha now. Love this guy's character design. Just skulls, fucking eye patch, knives, leather, and well, Lenny Kravitz type of hair. He's just, yeah, just going for it. Great double page spreads throughout this whole thing. Just, yeah, lots of action. Fast and furious. And Eric Larson draws great flight scenes as well. Let's look at the power in that. Just bam. Not too much backgrounds, but I'm not really too worried on, on backgrounds when I, when I get awesome artwork like that. This dude's pretty cool as well. You can see he's got, like, a face and then, like, the bottom part of a face. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, Larson's just going full ball with these crazy designs. Look at this fucking dude. Dragon, chucking on some pit vipers. This is one of the coolest images as well. He's just got these fucking SMGs. <laughs> Does this cool backflip jump. Just going through and just bang straight through the ceiling. Just about to destroy these people. It's just Robocop on steroids. Look at this, he even gets shot in the eye and he just fucking walks it off. Got another pretty cool character here, I think that's called the Star. So yeah, it's just very exciting what Larson was doing, he's just, you know, going full ball, creating his own whole universe. 
This is a pretty cool issue as well. Uh, where Dragon's in the sewers and he comes up with old mate Arachnid here. Look at this thing. Oh my god. Like, fucking hell, that's disgusting. <laughs> I like what he says here as well. Arachnid's got pieces of, what, piece, got, got pieces of guys bigger than you in his fecal matter. Just, yeah. Arachnid's no joke. Either's Dragon. Yeah, the conflict user resolved in about two or three pages uh, with this Super Patriot. Um, I remember having uh, the McFarlane Toys action figure of this and thinking it was the coolest thing. There's Dragon, even all the hot girls in the city find me irresistible. Got some Terminator 2 Judgment Day action right there. And that movie would have been pretty fresh as well. But look at these guys, man. You got this fucking shark. Uh, a lot of characters end up spinning out in, in their own book called Freak Force. Um, which hopefully a lot of the Eric Larson stuff gets uh, keeps getting collected. That'd be sick um, to have, uh, you know, Freak Force and all that. Um, but yeah, Super Patriot's pretty cool. He transforms his, like, arms into guns or knives. So got all these crazy tubes. And he's just, yeah, taking down our boy. Uh, girl there, I think her name's Alex. That's, uh... Dragon's partner on the force. This dude's just pure Kirby Grackle. Um, what's his name? Inferno? Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, we're just introducing new new creatures each issue. Here we go, got a bit of uh, Rob Liefeld's young blood. There's Bad Rock, or who was known as Bedrock uh, before. I think maybe I think he got a cease and desist, or maybe just changed it preemptively. Got a little cameo of Spawn. And uh, Dragon does appear in an issue of Spawn. Uh, I think it's like issue 50 something. Uh, drawn by uh, Greg Capullo, which is sick. Last one was a really good bad rock. Actually, it's really cool seeing um, like Liefeld's character designs through uh, Larson's lens. Like, yeah, there's the rest of Youngblood, like Die Hard and Shaft. Um, look at this dude. Getting those Doctor Doom vibes. And just dragging. Shaving his beard. Looks like it grows back. Which I would imagine would. <laughs> it's physiology I don't imagine is too different from uh, humans. But um... Yeah, keep flipping through this thing. Oh, dude, this issue is so good where he fights his, like, rat dude. And then he comes back at the end with these fucking dual chainsaws. Just carves them up. I used to draw the shit out of that panel. Yeah, there's all sorts of dismemberment going on there. Look at that. Just brutal. Just pounding old man until he looks like a fucking hamburger. Now, here's those Freak Force guys. Yeah, this is the look of that. Fuck, man. I used to just draw poses like that all the time. Like, with big dudes. Just... Veins galore. Oh, yeah. The turtles are an issue as well. Front cover's pretty sweet, which we'll see towards the end of the book here. But, yeah. I can't remember why they're fighting. I'm probably like, you know... We're the only green comic book characters that can be around. We'll keep flipping through here. Dude kind of looks like Peter Parker from when uh, Eric Larson was drawing him. <clears throat> Some troll looking motherfucker. Don't think that's a uh, troll from Young Lee either. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this is just so much fun. <clears throat> Not really too much more you can say. This character here, I forget what that character is again, but I know they joined Freak Force. It's like one of the uh, plot threads throughout the book where, so you know something's trapped in the basement. 
and end up finding out it's happening. It is fantastic action. This guy looks like a million, he looks like he's like a million nipples or like a million zits. I've got a feeling it's zits. Yeah, babes. Just dragging, he's just such a ladies man. Rest of Freak Force, you got another character throughout this book called Mighty Man, who I think is the leader of Freak Force. There you go, looks like Clayface up there. But yeah. I love that reflection in the mirror. Love his mask. His sound effects are dope as well. Looks like this whole issue is just splash pages. Man, that is a very skinny building. If you look at that angle of that perspective and him falling out of it, like, it's not a very big building. <laughs> Surprise, like, hasn't fucking fallen over. Just dragging and impaled. Yeah, dude, just brutal stuff, man. Eric Larson, he knows how to turn it up a notch when he wants to. But anyway, here's all the covers uh, kept out the back of the book. Uh, Savage Dragon looks like he's taken on a uh, Don Simpson's Megaton Man, which I think is where uh, Dragon first debuted. Uh, Megaton Comics back in the 80s, but he looked way different. Um, yeah, more about Super Patriot goodness. There he is, taken on Bad Rock. And of course, the iconic issue one cover. into a bit more, I think, yeah, we've seen those ones. So here's the uh, cover to uh, the issue one of the ongoing series. And obviously there's the Turtles who are in issue two. Like getting the Turtles in your second issue, like that goes to show you how like big this shit was. So they might have been either trade paperback or yeah, these are their trade paperback covers. Nice little page of that. You can see all the Image Boys names in the background. Liefeld, McFarlane, Valentino. That's so Image Comics, just like these lines going up and then the orange background. Uh, especially if you've seen the cover there, uh, Young Blood issue one. This is cool, a lot of uh, background so, yeah, so this is what Dragon looked like back in the day. It's like real small, thin. And then um, Larson figured out how to draw it from there. But it's really cool, like, he had this idea when he was a kid, and he's just kept it around, like, obviously all these characters. And when he's gotten to the position where he could, uh, you know, make his own creator own stuff and just throw out all these characters, just start the, the creativity that this guy's got is insane. And uh, some, some ink pages here. But yeah, as you can see, there's a shitload of uh, backup material. Just preliminaries of the marker. And it looks like these are his breakdowns. So yeah, super inspiring stuff if you want to be a, uh, you know, a comic book artist. Um, or how to write comics and that. Uh, and this is pretty cool as well here, him going through like his colour guides. Looks like these might be done with markers before he gives it off to uh, pro like a proper colourist then. Because I think the, the colours for the first mini series were not done digitally. But then obviously when, when he was able to, to do them digitally, yeah, that's where the, the main series kicked off from there. Ah, uh, plot pages. Yeah, this thing's loaded. And it's cool as well that uh, Larson still has all this stuff here. I remember back in the day, uh, when he was on Spider-Man, he had a house fire. Uh, and, and lost a lot of, uh, of his comic pages from when he was a kid, like comics that he worked on, stuff like that. Um, which is obviously a damn shame losing your house as well, but then, you know, things like Cherish Memories, where that 
gulp as well, which is yeah, quite a shame. And I got an afterward by the man himself. Looks like here a couple of uh, promotional material. And a really badass uh, end page A through. Alrighty, so there is the Savage Dragon Ultimate Collection by Eric Larson. Um, yeah, really stoked that this exists. Uh, fingers crossed, uh, Eric Larson he can keep this going. Because, um, yeah, Savage Dragon, gets, it just keeps getting fucking wilder and wilder. <laughs> um, but, yeah, there we go. As always, thanks for watching, and, yeah, take care.